What's up guys, today we have another car review. It's been a while, but we got one. Today we got a 2017 Ram 1500. All right, today, 2017 Ram 1500. As you can see, we got some chrome on there. That can only mean one thing. We have a big horn. So let's take a walk around. Dun, 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 dun. All right, big horn right there. There's the big horn badge, you see it? Look at that bull, it's got the horns. Give them the horns. All right, as you can see, we got parking sensors on the back. We also got them on the front, which a lot of cars don't have for some reason, but we got them here. We got a tow package right here. Yeah, you can do some tow. And we got double, double tailpipes. Oh yeah. All right, backup camera right here. Of course, if it doesn't have it, you know, why not? Uh-huh, you guys see that? Kind of dark, all right. Got this right here, it doesn't say Ram there because it's not like a higher end. It's kind of on the low end, but it is a little upgraded. So pull this down, it doesn't have any, you know, shocks to support it as it's falling down. But we do have, what is that? A rugged liner for the bed liner. So that's awesome, keeps your bed protected from the elements, protected from all your cargo. Let's put this up. All right, walking around, he steps right here. Boom, look at that little honeycomb action right there. Um, what do we got? Lights, right here is where you would plug in your you know, the, the tail lights for, you know, for your trailer that you're towing. Walking around, this isn't a quad cab, it's, I mean, this isn't a crew cab, I think it is a quad cab, smaller back seat, we'll get in there. All right, taking a look at the lights, look at that, boom. We got turn signals and also floodlights, I don't know if you can see this, but it lights up white, shines down to the floor in the dark, so you can see where you're walking. As you can see, Hemby 5.7 liter, V8 on deck, got the antenna here. I still hate that trucks have this. I'm sure the technology we have is advanced and they can put it somewhere hidden, come on. All right, up front we got reflector headlights, also the high beams are down here. Turn signal, maybe this is the high beams, something, you know, reflectors on the side. Fog lights down here, we got it, and as you see, parking sensors along the bumper and they work wonders all right right here give them the horns give them the horns nice grill all chrome look at that looks tough walking around walking around the tires you know pretty basic tires but they're not bad they're a little bigger than normal so that's good no blind spot monitors on the mirrors no sunroof but the back window here it does open and it is with a switch so you don't have to go back there to do it chrome door handles pull it open here's what we got Look at that, you know, basic Chrysler, Chrysler plastic, Chrysler window controls. Got two cup holders down here, one big, one small. Got a little cubby here, cubby here, handle here. It says Ram, got Ram branding all over. But first, we gotta get under the hood. Where's the little switch at? There we go. I'm gonna pop this thing open. Hope I can get it with one hand. Okay, I'm gonna need two hands. Here we go, not, not bad, and also it's spring-loaded, so it just goes right up and holds itself up. It even has a light. I mean, you gotta replace that with an LED, but you know, that's what you gotta do with almost every car these days. Um, let's see, where's the engine at? Look at that thing, Hemi V8, and they got some Dodge logo, and the battery, windshield wiper fluid, I don't know what this other stuff is, though. Yep, there's some information, yeah. Anything else? Does it say 1.2? I'm assuming that's, I don't know what that, the weight is of that. Um, but yeah, moving on in, close that up. Oh yeah, before we get inside in any little further, we gotta look at this. It's not the worst, but it's not the best. We got this right here. So it's not a metal key. It does have a metal key inside as a backup, but you know, it's not push start, so a little bad. But we do have remote start. Let's get a little shot. As you see, it got the Hemi action. It's got a little roar to it. All right, so got to unlock it, get inside, no keyless enter and go. Pedals down here, right here, automatic headlights. Got fog lights as well. Inside lights controls. Um, AC, AC, you guys know what AC is. You know what, I should have left it on. Why'd I turn it off? It's hot in here. All right, close the door. As you can see right here, we have a nice screen here loving it not that little screen you can cycle through the settings shows you your tire pressure your oil pressure your gas mileage right now i only have about a half a tank in there you get 255 miles of range it goes over 400 with a full tank so it's not bad as you can see i'm averaging 18 miles a gallon i did go on a long road trip well not too long about two hours each way so i don't know that's pretty long and i got pretty good gas mileage and i was in cruise control most of the time so that might have something to do with it 
But yeah, I like the screen, nice and vibrant, easy to read. Moving on, we got this big 8.4 inch touchscreen here. It has apps. Now I use that term very lightly because it doesn't actually have apps. Like it doesn't have Pandora, doesn't have Apple CarPlay, doesn't have Android Auto. That's in, I believe the 2018 has them, but this is a 2017 and it just missed it. Down here, got little cubby spaces in the middle, little cubby spaces. Also, this folds up and you can have a third seat in the front. I don't like that, but you know, what are you gonna do? Got a little cubby space there, space here. There's lots of room in here, not bad. Got a lot of headroom, like a lot of headroom. A lot of room in here. Got the steering wheel controls on the back to control the radio, volume on this side, track control on the other side. Bluetooth, you can hold it down and talk to Siri. Cruise control over here. We have a nice leather wrapped wheel, nice and, nice and soft. It feels good in the hands for a long road trip. We got the rotary shifter here, which I love. Some people don't like it, so you know, it's, it's personal preference. Personally, I hate this. Awesome, let's go boom, boom. It's so simple, so easy. Why doesn't every car have it? I don't know. I mean, also down here, plug in a microwave, plug in a blender, whatever you want. An actual full-size power outlet, that is awesome. Some trucks don't have that. If they do, it's awesome, good for camping. You know, if you wanna plug in a microwave, I guess, I don't know anything a hair dryer plug in a cappuccino maker plug in whatever you want got backup camera here you can turn it on whenever you want so that's awesome it doesn't stay on while you're driving so that's a downer up here mirror reflector light back seat is kind of small let's hop back in there real quick okay as you can see so it's not the crew cab and my seat's like all the way back in the front and it look, i can't really fit back here <laughs> yeah this this is what I got. <laughs> We've got a light back here, so it's not the best. I'd go for the crew cab, no doubt, every time. The sound system sounds pretty good. Gas tank doesn't lock and it's not capless, but what are you gonna do? All right, that is basically the car here. We have power seats on this side along with power lumbar support. The other side, it's manual, so not sure why that is. We do have a dimming mirror, it's not auto. You actually have to turn it, the dimming part on through the apps right here, which I thought was weird, but it works, so. What do you guys think? Do you guys have one of these? You guys want one? Let me know down below in the comments. Hit the red subscribe button for more. Let me know what you guys want to see. Follow me on social media. Smash that like button. Till next time, I'm Roderick and I'm out. We'll catch y'all later. Y'all should know my name. I'm a big shot. Yeah. The plan is to get guap with every tick tock on my wristwatch. Watch. And stack it from the flow to the tip top. Yeah. The game's in a gridlock. Your boy spin flames and I've been high. So high.